it's time now to do exercise two. And in this exercise, we're going to practice some of the skills that we've learnt in this section of the course. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch the desktop version of Excel and simply create a new blank workbook. Now, once you have that workbook open, I'd like you to be able to identify the following interface elements, the status bar, the ribbons, the title bar, the grid, and the quick access toolbar. Make sure you know where all of those are located. Next, I'd like you to add some commands to the quick access toolbar. Now, I don't mind which commands you add, but just as a suggestion, you might want to add print preview and print, auto format and sort. And I'd also like you to add a separator that separates those commands from the other commands on the quick access toolbar. And the final part of this exercise is to know which keystroke will show key tip shortcuts on all of the ribbons. That is it for this exercise. If you'd like to see my answer, then please keep watching. So the first thing I asked you to do was to launch the desktop version of Excel. Now you're going to find Excel either pinned to the taskbar at the bottom, as mine is just here. Alternatively, you might have to search for it underneath the start menu. Now, how you search for Excel will differ depending on if you're using Windows 11, Windows 10. So just do your normal search that you would do to find any application. As long as it's installed, you'll be able to find it. So I'm going to click on the Excel icon just simply to launch Excel 365 on my desktop. And I simply asked you to create a blank workbook. So in the new area up here, let's click on blank workbook. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad-free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. The next thing I asked you to do was to identify certain elements of the Excel interface. For example, the title bar, that is this area in green that we have running across the top. Our ribbons are just below that and we can click to switch to different ribbons. Remember, the ribbons house our commands. I asked you to find the status bar and the status bar is this bar that runs across the bottom. Currently, this is where we can go to change our zoom levels and also switch between different views. I asked you to be able to identify the grid. That is our big worksheet in the middle just here. And finally, I asked you to be able to identify the quick access toolbar. And you'll either find this below your ribbons like mine is here, or you might have it above your ribbon like that. The next thing I asked you to do was to customize this quick access toolbar and add some commands. And I don't mind which commands you added, but I did give you some suggestions. Now, as always, there are a few different ways that we could do this. For example, you can click on any command, right click and choose add to quick access toolbar. Alternatively, you can click the drop down and you can choose one of the commands from this list, print preview and print. And if you can't find the command that you're looking for, you can jump into more commands and you can choose what you want to add from one of these menus. So I'm going to add, let's add email, let's add it across to the quick access toolbar. I also asked you to add a separator. We find our separators at the top of each list. We can simply click on add and then we can use our up and down arrows to move that into position and then click on OK. The final thing I asked you to do was make sure that you know which keystroke you press in order to bring up all of those key tip shortcuts. And if you recall from the lesson, we need to press the Alt key to bring those up. That's it for this exercise. I will see you in the next section. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.